Hey guys, what's up? It's Cam. Today's video is going to be another recreation. I have a bunch of stuff lined up for like content, but I saw this look on Instagram and I could not pass up the opportunity to recreate it and I've been thinking about it ever since he posted it. <gasps> Those little words. Today we're doing a recreation that official Kalo posted on his Instagram. I have done one of his looks before I did like my own twist on his little like wavy eye look. I'll link it up if you want to watch that. But today we are doing this really fiery moment. I literally have been really into really like orangey red tones lately. And I haven't been able to get a chance to wear them or like really do makeup at all. There's a lot going on right now. But I saw this look and I was like, this is my opportunity. I have to sit down and do it. I... <sighs> I gotta do it. So today is the day. But it is just the most beautiful, like, fiery moment, and I just got really excited when I saw it. So that is the look we're gonna do today. So if you wanna get real fiery with me, then just keep watching. All right, we're gonna start with my Wonder Wax from Pink Honey. I'm gonna go ahead and just push all my brow hairs up. I don't know where I am. I don't know why I'm not centered, but that's just what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a makeup wipe and just wipe around my brow so we don't have any, like, brow wax residue hanging out. I'm also gonna go in with my Wonder Whip pencil just to kind of add some structure and shape to my brows. My brows were a hot mess. We're not gonna talk about it, but that's Fine. Now I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place eye base. I'm gonna go ahead and carve out the bottom of my brow and I'm also going to fill in my lids. We have a nice canvas for the shadows we're gonna use later. Once I have that laid down, I'm gonna go in with my sponge just to blend everything out. I'm gonna go in with this red P. Louise base first and I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that on my lid. We're gonna wing it out real quick and then I'm gonna take a brush. This is like a really dense like domed brush I guess and I'm gonna go ahead and use that and blend out the edges of that base. The first palette we're jumping into is the 3503 from Morphe. I'm gonna go into this like cranberry red shade. It matches the base and I'm gonna go ahead and run that all over my lid just to smoke that base out a little bit more. Then I'm gonna go into the Carnival XL Pro. I'm gonna take the shade Lit and I'm gonna pop that right on top of that red. We're gonna do a little bit of an ombre like sunset moment in the crease today. Now I'm gonna go into the Carnival Love Tahiti and I'm gonna take the shade Mango. I'm gonna run that right on top of that darker orange just to kind of brighten it up a little bit so that we can go into the shade Yellowed from that same palette and blend that right on top. This is our final blend shade for the look. So now I'm going to go back through. We're going to go back in with that mango shade and re-intensify. Back in with lit. Re-intensify. Take that red once again and run that through. I'm going to take a black shadow now and run that in my crease. We're not going to go all the way in my crease. We're going to keep this on the outer third and then kind of drag it into my crease just a little bit to add a little bit of definition. But yeah, if you know me, you know that I love using black eyeshadow and I pretty much use it in every single look. I'm going to cut the crease now. I'm going to go in with a micellar water soaked q-tip and I'm going to go ahead and do a half cut crease moment. So we're just going to cut out like the first two-thirds of my lid, I guess, and we're gonna stop on the outer third. I'm also gonna go in with a makeup wipe just to further clean up my lid because sometimes the q-tip doesn't really get everything. Now I'm gonna go in with Blank Canvas from P. Louise and I'm gonna use that as my cut crease base, so I'm just gonna pop that all over my lid where we carved out that shadow. I'm gonna go back in with that black eyeshadow just to diagonally smoke that onto my lid. I'm going to do the same with the red. We're just going to pop that right on top of the black. And then we're going to go in with that darker orange. And then finally, we're going to go in with that yellow. As a base for the glitter, I'm going to go in with this gold shadow. This is a good trick if you want to keep your glitter from separating and looking really gross on your lid. Like if it creases, this is a really good way to kind of keep everything looking cohesive even if it does crease. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going to pop it on my lid with my finger. We're just going to put it all over where we put that gold shadow. And then I'm going to go in with this gold glitter. I will link where I bought it, but I'm going to pop that right on top of where I put the glitter primer. Now I'm going to go back in with that orange just to smoke it onto the glitter so that it looks less like glitter shadow and more like cohesive, you know? And then I'm going to take that red as well just to blend it out. Now I'm just going to clean up the edges. It's looking a little funky, so we're just going to sharpen up that bottom edge there with a makeup wipe. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the black paint from P. Louise and I'm going to smoke that on my lash line first. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Lit from the XL Pro palette and smoke that right underneath that black shadow. And then we're going to go in with Yellowed to finish off the lower lash line. 
For mascara, we're going to go in with the Pillow Talk Lash Lift Mascara. I think that's what it's called from Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of my favorite mascaras right now. I love the wand. It's like my favorite thing in the entire world. While I wait for my lashes to dry, I'm going to pop a little highlighter on my inner corner and also on my brow bone. And then finally for lashes, we're going in with the Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos. That is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I went a little bit more, I guess, vampy with this with the darker lip. But I was feeling a really dark, like, black smoky lip today, so we just, we went with it. It's okay. Is this exactly like his? No. But will I ever recreate something that looks exactly like the thing that I'm trying to recreate? No. So it's okay. Everything's fine. I love this. Again, at the beginning, I was gushing about how much I love this look. Let me tell you right now, I fucking love this look. It is so fun. It's so fiery. It's so, like, summery, like, night out. But, like, also, you could go to the grocery store to go buy some corn or some shit. I don't know what you buy at the grocery store. But, like, if I was going to the grocery store with this on my face, I'd probably be going to buy corn or lettuce for cilantro because he eats a shit ton of lettuce, like, all day, every day. But whatever. Anyway... This is, this is the look. This is the moment. I'm feeling so cute. I put my extensions in because my hair was looking really ratty and I was like, mmm. And I went to the beach and it kind of lightened my hair so they like sort of match up but not super, super well. It just kind of looks highlighted. I don't know. I really, really like it. So I'm feeling it. I wish I wasn't about to go to bed because I kind of want to wear this out, but it's okay. Everything's fine. This is the look. I'm going to tag Kalo up around it'll be also in the description box if you want to go give him a follow i high key suggest it because he is an absolute icon everything he does is just gorgeous that's it that is all i got if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe this hopefully will be my last video until i move so the next time you see me i should be in a different space different background i'm very very excited maybe another video will get slid in here i'm not sure but this is it be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.